You'll say the First World War began in 1914 and it ended in 1918. Now, actually, all those things which led up to the First World War started long before 1914. And the repercussions of that war have continued long beyond 1918. How are we to distinguish an event from its repercussion? Because we have divided events from one another in this arbitrary way, we do that and then we sort of forget we did it. And then we have a puzzle. How do events lead to each other? Because you see, in reality, there are no separate events. Life moves along like water. In reality, there are no separate events. Life moves along like water. In reality, there are no separate events. It's all connected as the source of a river is connected to the mouth and to the ocean. And all the events or things going on are like whirlpools in the stream. Because you go there today and you see a whirlpool. You go there tomorrow and you see a whirlpool. But it isn't the same whirlpool because all the water is changing every second. What is happening is not really what we should call a whirlpool but rather a whirlpooling. It is an activity, not a thing. 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 And indeed, every so-called thing can be called an event. An event. We call, say, a house, housing. We call a mat, matting. And we could equally call a cat, a catting. House, housing. Mat, matting. Cat, catting. Cat, catting. So we could say the catting sat on the matting. And we would thereby have a world in which there were no things but only events. give another illustration. A flame is something we say there is a flame on the candle. But it would be more correct to say there is a flaming on the candle because the flame is a stream of hot gas. Hot gas. Let's take another amusing example. We say fist and fist is a noun and fist looks like a thing but suddenly what happens to the fist when I open my hand? See I was fisting. Now I'm handing, handing it to you. So every kind of so-called thing can be spoken of as an event. And because events flow into each other, the fisting flows into the handing. We cannot say exactly where one ends and the other begins. So therefore, if we remember that, we shall see that we do not need the idea of causality to explain how a prior event influences the following event.